Do you struggle with true, false and not given question in IELTS reading? Do you get confused when you have to answer whether it is false or not given? Do you have problem in comprehending the question properly? Or maybe you have located the information in the passage and still can't find out whether the answer is going to be false or not given. Hello and welcome to Inquil. I am Somi and today I'm going to show you how easily you can solve true, false and not given question. Let's get started. Now let's understand how can we solve true, false and not given question. The important thing to remember in this that answers will be in order. Okay, before I forget, I also want to mention that there is a difference between true, false, not given and yes, no, not given. So yes, no, not given. I'm going to cover it in my next video. True, false, not given is all about identifying information. Now you must remember something here. If your instruction says true, false, not given, or let's say yes, no, not given, and by mistake you have written true, false, not given. Let me repeat that for you. If your instruction says yes, no, not given, and by mistake you have answered in true, false, not given, your answers will be marked wrong. So remember something, true false not given read the instruction properly and then you also must remember that the answers will be in order now this is what we have written over here okay next one i have written here heading to read the heading now few passages in ielts there will be heading given to you few you might say no heading is given now whenever there is a heading see first the heading or the subheading of the passage and predict why do we do this because we want to understand that what the passage is all about so reading heading or subheading and then predict what could be the passage all about what are the kind of words that you might find there uh, what kind of information you might find in the passage and this is important you will understand the importance of heading when we will do the exercise together then the next is the steps how am i going to answer the question or solve the questions rather of true false and not given let's look at the steps now the first step is read the questions now you're not reading the passage what did you do you got the question paper, you see there is true, false, not given questions given to you. First, read the heading or the subheading and predict what the passage could be all about. What kind of words you might find in the passage? What kind of information you might find in the passage? Your prediction is done. Go to the question. Read the questions first. All right. Then what you're going to do? You're going to take the keywords out highlight the keywords very very important all right now when you are highlighting the keywords look at these words all majority some only apart from comparatives superlatives so all you know is 100 percent right there is a difference between all and majority majority could be your 80 percent there is a difference between majority and some what is only? Only means exclusively. What is apart from? Apart from means except. What are comparatives? If you have the words ending in, most of the words, let's say, ending in ER. So there is a comparison between two. And superlatives, it is the plus your adjective, what is in superlative form. So these words, why have I highlighted them? Because most of the time I see that IELTS test takers do not really consider these words when they're taking the keywords out. They kind of skip these words. But trust me, these words are important when you are solving the questions of true, false, not given 
all right if you have these words you mustn't mustn't forget to highlight them all right now after taking the keywords out and looking all at all these words we rephrase the keywords now you know that the words which is given to you in the passage and the question what's going to happen here is apart from name of a scientist let's say or name of a book or name of a city other words will be rephrased which means you will not find the same words which is there in the passage as well as in the question all right so in ielts always remember something match the meaning but don't match the words what did i say match the meaning but don't match the words when you want to rephrase the keywords you can use your synonyms you can use your antonyms which are opposites you can also rephrase the words from one parts of speech to another parts of speech okay now let's look at the next step go back to the passage now it is the time for you to go back to the passage and then you locate the information which passage you locate the information by scanning the keywords that you have already taken out from the passage and then apply the formula now what is the formula let's see now this is what your formula is don't get confused i'm trying to make it simple for you let's assume that the question that is given to you is your claim let's assume the question equals to claim all right and then your information in the passage equals to evidence what did i say question equals to claim information in the passage equals to evidence now when your question or your claim matches 100% with your evidence that means matches 100% with the information that is given that is your true but when your claim that is the question contradicts what is the meaning of the word contradicts when it is opposite opposite so when your claim contradicts 100% with your evidence that is false which means the information is given to you it's not that the information is not given the information in the passage is given to you but it is just the opposite is just the opposite it is opposite it contradicts the question then it is false and now comes your not given i know many of you get confused between false and not given it's it's all right now we are going to understand how not to get confused let's see so when there is no information in the passage or when the information is matching partially with the question what do i what do i mean here which means that the question is given to you the passage is given to you but some bit of that question is not there in the passage a part of it is not there in the passage which is your not given so false means when the information is given to you in the passage but it is contradicting with the question not given means when a part of information you cannot find in the passage a small part of it you can't find in the passage that is not given that is the difference between false and not given okay and then after applying the formula we are going to find out our answer trust me the steps might look there are many steps here step 1 step 2 step 3 but if you just get the hang of it first and then practice it again and again it will not take much time okay now i have said about the steps and now let's find out that how am i going to uh, solve the questions okay let's see let's look at the question so you see on your left hand side this this this, this is the passage and on the right side you have your question the first thing that you see okay let me try to use my highlighter here and there you go so i have a heading over here william henry perkin the man who invented synthetic dyes i'm not going to look at the passage i'm going to predict now william henry perkin 
man who invented synthetic dyes passage could be about his uh, life it could be about how he invented dyes maybe color maybe what he got out of it okay now i am ready my brain is ready to receive the information from the passage done my heading is done which was our step number one if you remember look at the question carefully do the statements agree with the information and there you have true false not given this is the ins instruction which is given to you so you need to write true false not given and i said true agrees false contradicts and not given is when a part of the information is not mentioned in the passage right now so remember our step one to look at the heading or the subheading if there is any predict we look at the question step two we are looking at the question reading the information clearly step three now you go to the question here and you find out the keywords of the question what are my keywords michael faraday was the first person to recognize i'm not uh i'm not highlighting perkin because the, the passage is all about Perkins, so it's all right. Uh, ability as a student of chemistry. So this are these, I'm sorry, these are your keywords. Now, after finding out the keywords, I'm quickly going to rephrase, rephrase these keywords. How I'm going to rephrase it? Probably I'm going to use my synonyms. Let's see. Uh, over here maybe Michael Faraday was the first person to recognize I mean he is the first person to probably find out uh, the Perkins uh, ability as a student of chemistry so I have rephrased this okay let me go back to the passage now here in the passage this is talking about Henry Perkin London arts all that here I find chemistry can you see that this is the word chemistry here okay so now i also find michael faraday here so i scanned it let's see what he says his talent and devotion whose talent this is perkins talent isn't it perkins talent okay so here his talent and devotion to the subject were perceived by his teacher thomas hall this is where i find the information right now the question says michael faraday was the first person person to recognize the word recognize in the passage uh in the question i'm sorry is perceive that's what you got in the passage perkins ability so here it is talking about his talent you already got this information talent as a student of chemistry Look at the information look at the question here faraday was the per first person to perceive perkins ability in the passage what is given thomas hall thomas hall perceived his uh uh you know talent and devotion whose talent perkins talent what is happening here the evidence the evidence which is there in the passage is contradicting the claim it is opposite passage is talking about thomas hall recognized his talent claim claim is telling you michael faraday recognized his talent he was the first person so my answer is going to be definitely false here have you understood now the second one let's try to find out the keywords michael faraday suggested perkin should enroll in the royal college of chemistry these are my keywords michael faraday gave him suggestion gave perking suggestion that he should enroll in the royal college of chemistry now my keywords are faraday royal college of chemistry let me try to find out now i told you here that the answers are in order i already got the information from passage two so no way my information will be in passage one no because answers are in order i need to look forward i see royal college of chemistry here let me see okay so it says those speeches whose speeches michael faraday's those speeches fired the young chemist enthusiasm further and he later on went on to attend royal college of chemistry so perkin already had enthusiasm 
but the speeches given by Michael Faraday fired the young chemist's enthusiasm further. And then he went on and he attended Royal College of Chemistry. So here, enroll, attended, okay, attended Royal College of Chemistry. Perkin, I get the information, get the information of Faraday. But do I get the information that Faraday suggested? Look at the passage again. Do I get the information of any kind of suggestion that is given by Faraday? No. It talks about that Perkin had enthusiasm and he listened to Michael Faraday's speech, uh, Faraday's speeches. And then he, uh, those speeches fired the enthusiasm further. But there is no information that is given about any kind of suggestion here. Can you see that? So my claim is partially matching with my evidence my question is partially matching with the information that is given in the passage hence my answer here will be not given okay let's look and look at question number three now parking employed uh let me again select my highlighter. Okay, let me highlight the question again. Go back to the question. Let's see. Perkin employed Hoffman as his assistant. I'm not taking Perkin as a keyword because the passage is all about Perkin. So Perkin employed Hoffman as his assistant. That means Perkin gave job to Hoffman. All right, I rephrased it. Let me go back to the passage now. I already found my answer to question number two from here and I need to look forward. I need to see where is Hoffman. Aha, I found Hoffman here. Okay, now what does it say? At the time of Perkins enrollment, the Royal College of Chemistry was headed by Hoffman. Perkins scientific gift soon caught Hoffman's attention. And within two years, he became Hoffman's youngest assistant. He became, who became? Perkin became. That means Perkin, that means Hoffman gave job to Perkin. That's what the evidence is saying. Let me look at the claim. Claim talks about Perkin gave Hoffman some kind of job. That's the claim. What is the evidence saying? Hoffman gave job to Perkin. What's happening here? Information is there. Information about Perkin, employed, Hoffman, assistants, all, assistant, all the information is given to you here. But the claim is contradicting 100% with the evidence. The claim is saying that Perkin gave job to Hoffman. The evidence is saying that Hoffman gave job to Perkin because look at this line he became Hoffman's youngest assistant who he Perkin became Hoffman's youngest assistant hence my answer over here is going to be have you gotten it what will be my answer my answer here is going to be false okay let's look at the next one Perkin was still young, this is important, still young when he made the discovery that made him rich and famous. The question says that Perkin was still young. Okay, he made some uh, discovery and that made him rich and famous. All right, let me see here. So I got my answer from this particular paragraph for question number three. For question number four, either I have to look forward or it might be in this. But I find the line here. Look at this. Not long after that. Now look at this particular, look at this particular line over here. So Perkin and succeeded and at the age of 15. So this is all talking about Perkin and at the age of 15, 15 young, young age. And then what happened here? Hoffman gave job to Perkin and then it says not long after that Perkin made the scientific breakthrough 
that would bring him both fame and fortune all right let's try to now rephrase this which means scientific breakthroughs scientific breakthrough means discovery this is a scientific big breakthrough the word discovery in the question is matching with scientific breakthrough in the passage i can see here okay made him rich and famous in the question which is in the claim in the evidence i see fame and fortune can you see that okay so perkin was still young still young i see the age of 15 over here and then i say not long after that so still young in my question which is the claim equals to not long after that in my evidence which is in the passage so the information my claim is matching 100 percent with the evidence the claim says that perkin was young when he got rich and famous and in the evidence it is given not long after that perkin made the scientific breakthrough scientific breakthrough means discovery that would bring him both fame and fortune fame and fortune means made him rich and famous hence my answer here is going to be true this is true right because it is matching 100 percent now let's look at question number five let's take the keywords out of the question the trees from which quinine is derived grow only in south america do you remember I told you that when you are when you are looking at the question, look at the words like most, majority, all, only. So you find the word only here. Now, I will look at this particular paragraph, right? Because in this paragraph, I find the word quinine. Okay. I also find the word, let's say it's the bark of some tree. I find this here. I also find South America here. So my answer has to be somewhere here. Okay, so my claim says that the tree grows. I'm going to make it very simple for you. The trees grow only in South America. Let me look at the information here. Let me change the color. So now it says grow only in South America. So let me uh, read this line. The drug is derived from the bark of this tree native to South America. Now, I find the information of tree. Yes, I do find it here. Okay. I find the inf information about quinine. Yes, it is here. I find the information about South America. Yes, it's there. But it's talking about it grows only in South America. The word only. This. This. I find the information that it is native to South America. This is what is given in my evidence. But my claim is saying something that grows only. Look at this word, only. Do I find any information? I find information about tree. I have found it. Quinine, I have found it. South America, I have found it. But something that grows only in South America, exclusively in South America. Am I getting this information, the small part of information? That is missing. Although I have gotten information about other things, but this small part, this small part is missing. Hence, my answer will be false. No, it will not be false. It will be not given. False means it is contradicting. Not given means a small part of information is missing. So this only part is missing in the passage. It is missing. Hence, my answer is not given. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Perkin hoped to manufacture a drug from coal tar waste product. Let me try to rephrase it. He hoped, he wanted to manufacture a drug. Now, it could be manufacture a medicine. Drug is also medicine from coal tar waste product. Okay, 
let me look at here so where do i find this word coal tar i find it here coal tar waste product so this coal tar waste product i find it here in the passage coal tar waste product and he was attempting to manufacture so attempting over here is hoped right he hoped he hoped to manufacture a drug quinine is the name of a drug so this is my drug okay he hoped to manufacture quinine da 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 da, da from coal tar waste product yes my claim is talking about he hoped to manufacture my evidence is saying yes he was attempting to manufacture quinine from this from a coal tar waste product so my my claim is matching 100% with the evidence and hence my answer is going to be true okay let's look at question number 7 now perkin was inspired by the discoveries of the famous scientist louis pasteur okay where do we find louis pasteur louis pasteur louis pasteur here okay louis pasteur we scanned it already all right so perkin was inspired let's say that he was talking here coal tar everything everything and proving the truth of the famous scientist louis pasteur's words perkin saw he, the potential of his unexpected find so i do find the information from this part of the paragraph right and uh it's talking about perkin okay matching discoveries of the famous scientist louis pasteur i did find louis pasteur here it's talking about he was inspired perkin was inspired so here it's talking about perkin's proving the truth of the famous scientist this 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 the famous scientist words perkin saw the potential of the unexpected find he saw the potential the 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 claim is telling me that he was inspired by louis pasteur i don't find although i find the information of louis pasteur and although i find the information of discoveries let's say unexpected find this is my discoveries do i find the information of inspired he perkin getting inspired that information is not is not there although a part of information is there louis pasteur information is there perkin information is there unexpected find discoveries this is there but the inspiring part of it the inspired that he he is getting inspired or he got inspired this small little part i cannot find it in the passage here can you this this is just not present so what's happening here my claim is is partially matching is partially matching but that means this part is not given in the passage and hence my answer here is going to be not given i hope you have understood the steps how to solve true false and not given questions please comment below if you have understood or uh, was there any difficulty when you were trying to solve the questions of true false and not given and if you have found value in this video please give us a like share it with your friends or family members who all are preparing for ielts examination hit the bell notification icon and do subscribe thank you for watching this video